In this example, we're going to take the derivative of this relatively complicated function using a technique called logarithmic differentiation. It's important to note that logarithmic differentiation for this particular function is not a requirement. We could just utilize the various rules that we've uh, learned so far to be able to take the derivative. But in this case, we'd need not only a quotient rule, but a couple of product rules and a couple of chain rules also. And so we want to be smart about um, taking the derivative whenever we can. And so logarithmic differentiation is going to be a useful to tool. So I'm gonna say uh, for this particular um, example, this is helpful, but not necessary. So uh, when we do logarithmic differentiation, uh, first we might need to uh, rewrite. And so for this particular one, um, we see a couple of square roots, and so we want to be able to rewrite those using the power one half. And also, instead of carrying on the f of x, I usually go ahead and write it as y equals, uh, just for simplicity. And so here we have y equals the fraction uh, with the top being two to the x times, and we're gonna switch this to the one half power. So x to the third minus one to the one half power. And then on the bottom, we'll write this as x to the one half power times the factor uh, two x minus one. So we first rewrite, um, and then the next step that we will do always is, and I'll use this in quotes because it's not technically using good notation, we ln both sides. So when we ln both sides, we're taking the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of y on the left-hand side is equal to the natural log of this fraction. And so that fraction is again two to the x times x uh, cubed minus one to the one-half power on the top. And then on the bottom, we have x to the one-half power times two x minus one as a factor. So once we've taken the natural log of both sides, the whole purpose of taking the natural log of both sides is to then use the log rules to change products into sums, change uh, quotients into differences, and bring powers down to constant multiples. So we're basically taking the more complicated derivative rules and rewriting our function so that we can use uh, the simpler derivative rules. So the first step of algebra that we're gonna do, and all of this is algebra, the first step of algebra we're going to do is the whole thing itself is a, fr is a fraction. So we're going to take division and change it to subtraction. And here's how we do it using the logarithms. So on the left hand side we have natural log of y. And then on the right hand side um, we see that division bar. Uh, if we take the, nat if we have the natural log of a fraction, it would be equal to the natural log of the top. So that top again is 2 to the x times x cubed minus 1 to the 1 half. And then that division bar means we subtract the natural log of the bottom. So the bottom there is x to the 1 half times 2x minus 1. So the log of a fraction is equal to the difference of natural logs. So uh, the next thing we see is um, in two different places we have a log of two things that are multiplied. So multiplication we can switch to addition. And so that's the next step of algebra that we'll do. And so here we would have um, on the left-hand side, natural log of y is equal to, um, this first natural log here is the natural log of a product of things. So what we do is we write it as the natural log of the first term in the product plus the natural log of the second term in the product. And then we have the subtraction sign, and again we have the natural log of two things multiplied together, and we're going to switch that multiplication to addition. But we've got to be careful now, because we are subtracting something that right now is just a single term with multiplication in it, and we're going to switch it over to two different terms with addition in it. And so we do have to make sure that we've got some parentheses here. So the natural log of that product would be the natural log of the first term, that first term is x to the one-half, plus the natural log of the second term, which is 2x minus 1. Okay, So that's where we are so far. The next thing we see is that we need to distribute the negative sign across uh, the addition, and that will uh, eliminate the extra set of parentheses we have. So actually, let me write there that that's what we're doing here. Distribute. 
That's the next set of algebra steps that we're doing. So we have natural log of y is equal to natural log of um, 2 to the x plus natural log of x cubed minus 1 to the 1 half. And then this negative sign is what we're distributing. So we have minus natural log of x to the 1 half. And we distribute the minus natural log of 2 times x minus 1. So now that we've gotten rid of all the all of the parentheses, we see that the right-hand side is just terms where we have um, just them added and subtracted together. So we've made progress. But the one extra thing that we can do now is we can um, change powers to multiples. So I'll say powers to multiples. And this is not a derivative rule. This is still just algebra. So on the left-hand side, we carry on the natural log of y. On the right-hand side, the first term does have an exponent of x. And so we could bring that x down front, and it would be a multiple now, um, x times natural log of 2. And we do this term by term. The second term has the power 1 half that we can bring down front of the logarithm, so it would be 1 half times the natural log of x cubed minus 1. Uh, the third term has a power 1 half, and so we can bring that down front again, so we have minus 1 half natural log of x. And then the last term does not have any sort of power, so we'll just leave it as is. Natural log of 2x minus 1. And that's as far as we can go with algebra. Having the uh, natural log of a sum or a difference, we can't do anything with that. We can't split that up anymore. And so we can't break this uh, right-hand side down at any any further step. But one thing that I do want you to do um, is realize that we can probably, with some practice, get to this final um, algebraic step more quickly if we can compare first to um, our initial problem. Notice that each term that comes with a plus sign in front came from the top of our original function, and each term that came uh, that comes with a minus sign came from the bottom of our function. The powers that we see on each term in the original function became constant multiples, um, and so we can, with practice, condense these two pages of algebra um, pretty quickly. But again, that takes some practice. So up to this point, we haven't actually taken the derivative yet. We've only done algebra to be able to set us up for the derivative. But the derivative is pretty quick at this point. So we're ready for the derivative now. So we're going to remember that the derivative of the natural log of, um, of something would be, um, well, we'll say the, nat the derivative of the natural log of u would be u prime over u. So that's really what we're using on each one of these. The derivative d dx of natural log of u is equal to u prime over u. That's the 1 over u times u prime or chain rule there. So we do this term by term, and since we have addition and subtraction, this goes really quickly. So we've got y prime over y on the left-hand side. And then uh, we got to look here. Uh, we've got x times natural log of 2. Now it's tempting to really try to utilize that derivative of a logarithm here, but re remember that the natural log of 2 itself is just a number. So we're looking at the derivative of x times a number. It's a constant multiple of x. So the derivative of a constant multiple of x would simply be that constant multiple. So then we go to the next term, and we've got the constant multiple 1 half in front, and we're looking then at the derivative of the natural log of that cubic. So for the natural log of the cubic, its derivative would be um, the part that's in parentheses, the u would go in the bottom, so u cubed minus 1 is in the bottom. And the chain rule dictates that we then take the derivative of that bottom and stick it on the top. So the derivative of x cubed minus 1 would be 3x squared, and it lands in the top. Moving on to the next term, we have um, minus 1 half is a constant multiple there. And then we have the derivative of natural log of x. And that's the simple derivative, doesn't even need the chain rule. Its derivative is 1 over x. And then finally, we have minus uh, the derivative of natural log of this linear thing. And so it does need a chain rule. So it takes the form, uh, the part of the um, inside the parentheses goes on the bottom. And then we take its derivative and stick it on top for the chain rule part. So at this point here, we've taken the derivative, but we're looking for y prime as our final answer. So we have to multiply over 
the y. Okay? So when we multiply over the y, that's allowing us to solve for y prime. So we would multiply both sides by y, and we get y prime is equal to y times, and it would be important to have the parentheses here, natural log of 2 plus, and we can combine the next term into a single fraction, 3x squared um, over the 2 that's in the bottom times the factor x cubed minus 1. And then minus the 1 over 2x when we multiply those two fractions, minus 2 over 2x minus 1. And we'll close up our parentheses. And our final step would be really just getting this back in terms of f of x. And so we would have f prime of x there is uh, what y prime would be. And we want to replace the y with our starting function because y was what f of x was. So we have... Uh, that function being the fraction 2 to the x times the square root of x cubed minus 1. Um, and that was on top. And then on the bottom we had uh, the square root of x. And we had the factor, uh, the linear factor 2x minus 1. And so that was what the y is. And we multiply that by everything in parentheses. And that would finish us up for the derivative. Close up the parentheses, and that gives us our final answer. Took a while still, but each step wasn't too difficult. Um, wasn't too hard to keep track of what was going on. It's just a lot of steps.